Okay, so here we are with another episode of my adventures in PUBG. But today, this is this episode is more like a tip episode for people who aren't too familiar with the guns in PUBG, what they do. For gun lovers, you have clearly your you have your you know what what gun is what, and for you PUBG experts, obviously you too know what gun is what what you want but for the people that are not experts who kind of just feel out the game grabbing each gun seeing what they like best kind of like myself so this is an easy way to understand what type of guns you may want may not want but what category these guns fall in so when you're here in your profile or main PUBG um, page when it opens up what you want to do is go to inventory and then go to the gun symbol so now here let's start off at the very top so you have the AR so obviously you see the AK most people know oh yeah I know what an AK is so at least have they have an idea so now when you look at all these other all these other weapons below so these all fall under the AR uh, category the automatic rifles so you have the AK M6 uh, A4 the uh, S Carl L M416 Rosa AUG QBV etc etc so all these guns are pretty much the same thing obviously not identically but they are in the same category so you know you don't necessarily need two of the same gun gun type unless you want it then you go to the bolt action sniper so the bolt action sniper is the KR-98K the M24 AWM WIN-94 so this the WIN-94 is probably the one you find the most or maybe the KR-98K so uh, usually the WIN-94 I think that's the one I see a lot in the desert uh, desert stage uh, the name is escaping me at the moment so then you have the automatic sniper rifle so now you know when you have a AR you probably want one of these snipers if, if not the bolt action you want the automatic I prefer the automatic my favorite is the VSS easiest to well easiest to control when you're putting a when you're putting a four times uh, scope or six times on an AR so you see the difference the the ability to shoot accurate isn't there as much so that's why it's good to have one of these if if you don't get the VSS which is my personal favorite but you still have these other ones the mini which is good with the scope and I haven't tried these other ones as, except the MK12 which is also good with the scope so but the VSS all comes with a scope already so that's the beautiful thing about that so that's why this is a good way to know okay when you're playing what what guns you want and don't want so now you have the the SMGs so these are all like the machine guns the Uzi's the UMP45 the Vector the Thompson uh, Bison MP5K P90 so so, you, pr you probably don't want two of the same thing, which usually I never have. I usually have the UMP45 and jump to a sniper or the, um, the ARs, because obviously these are the ones more readily available. Then you have the shotguns, which you see a little bit more readily available. So start with a shotgun maybe and jump to something else. Shotgun, probably the best close action gun because one shot boom out of there if you catch them but you need to catch them so haven't tried these uh, S12K uh, and the DBS much but obviously the top one always there then you have the light machine gun the DP28 is there often so that's not a bad for a machine gun but as I experienced you put a scope on it try to hit long distance very difficult to hit accurate even you shoot all over the place if someone shooting back at you has a scope and they know what they're doing you out of there happens to me all the time then you have the pistols so gotta grab one of these pistols no 
for that third weapon no need to explain too much melee weapon of course you know these are the melee weapons don't know why the pan always picks up over these I try, I try to get rid of the pan to go to one of these and the pan comes back but and then the crossbow by all by itself so obviously jump to one of the other weapons unless you need to kill with a crossbow for some benefits and bonuses and etc but this just look through this this will give you a better idea of what combinations of guns to have see a lot of times I'm having at least in the beginning stages I would have an AR with the SMG I don't necessarily if you if there's a chance to have one of the snipers you should have one of the snipers with the SMG or the AR definitely so these are common mistakes you make early in the game rookie mistakes but for us non-gun enthusiasts and PUBG for us non gun enthusiasts and PUBG experts this is a good way to understand what weapons are available as we pick up and what we may want to discard in exchange for another weapon we see so thank you for watching if you already know this thank you for watching anyway like comment below share some tips and advice I am not the expert in this this is just my personal adventures my experiences things I pick up as I go along thank you for watching until next time peace out